everyone welcome back to another video and happy Tuesday today we are finishing off the last of the celestial theme soap by making a galaxy soap this one has been made by a lot of different soap makers but this is my take on it using all natural ingredients and essential oils for anyone that's new around here my name is Sarah and I've been making soap for about seven years and I run serendipity soap company based in Maine I'm starting out my soap as always by mixing my lye water solution and my oils which are right around 100 degrees Fahrenheit together and then I'm going to bring them to emulsification using my spatula. And I'm just stirring that together to make sure that all of that shea butter fully melts and that my oils and my lye water combine so that they don't separate back out. Once I've got everything mixed in I'm going to create the background for this soap and that's just going to be a black background so I'm adding some activated charcoal. I want this soap to be nice and dark so I'm adding two teaspoons and I did realize that I wanted to separate out a little bit of this batter so I can create an accent color in my galaxy. Luckily I didn't stir in the black soap yet so I'm using a measuring cup to just bring out a few cups of soap for the swirl that I want to create and I'm adding that into a separate bowl. I'm going to use the head of my stick blender to mix in my activated charcoal and make sure that I'm happy with the depth of the color that I have. Once I'm happy with that I'm going to add the color to my smaller container. This is going to be a blue color so I'm adding a little bit of indigo powder to this section of soap for a dark blue swirl in my final soap. Once again, I'm going to mix that in with my spatula and make sure that I'm happy with the colour that I have got. Alright, I'm very happy with those colours, so I'm going to use my stick blender and bring those to emulsification to trace. Um, oh, and I'm looking for a medium to thick trace. I have some little elements that are going to go into this soap and this batter it needs to be able to support those embeds. Now my soap is going to move pretty quickly so it doesn't take very long to stick blend that and bring it to a medium to thick trace that I'm looking for. It's time to add in my essential oils and I'm using a nice fresh combination of grapefruit, lemongrass and spearmint essential oils. This is a nice sweet fruity scent with a hint of freshness from that spearmint. It's one of my favourite essential oil combinations and perfect for a nice galaxy themed soap. So I'm just going to mix that in with my spatula into both of my containers and then we're going to create an in the pot swirl with the dark blue and the black. So I'm going to pour the dark blue into my larger container just in a swirled pattern and once I've got all of that in I will scrape out my small container into my larger container. Now before I pour that soap into my mold it's time to make the little embeds for this soap and I am making the little planets. I'm creating a swell design with these four colors and I'm just layering the different colors together and then molding them into little round balls to create my planets. These ones that I'm creating here are gonna go right on the top of the soap and I have created a lot more to go on the inside. So let's pour that black soap in and I'm gonna pour about a third of it into the bottom of my soap molds into each of the molds that I have laid out here and once I have that in I'm going to go ahead and add about half of my embeds into the mold. I'm just scattering those randomly into the molds. That looks pretty good so I'm going to add some more of my soap right on top of those planets and I'm pouring it pretty gently so from quite low down I want to get those planets as covered as I can. This back mold 
is moving a little bit more than I would like it to so I'm going to go ahead and grab my spatula and use that to break the fall of this soap. You can see while I'm pouring this soap the dark blue and the black are very similar colours and there isn't a lot of differentiation between them. So I'll have to have a look during the cut to see if you can actually see the swirl in this design. It might come out in the cut, which would be just great. Now it's time to add another layer of those little planet embeds. I'm going to scatter those again all over this soap. You can see that my base is thick enough now that it is supporting those and suspending them just above the surface so they won't sink completely to the bottom. I am going to use up all of the rest of the embeds that I've created in this layer so that I can go ahead and use the rest of my black background soap to finish off my pour. And once again I'm going to use my spatula to break the fall and make sure that all of those little planets are nicely covered by the black soap in the background. The final step that I did on this soap was to spread some of the blue soap right on top and that will swell in a little bit as I'm texturing the top. So I left the soap for about 10 minutes to set up a little bit more so the definition in the texture would come out and once again I'm using the back of my spoon and pulling the soap in from the edges of the mold to the middle. Now I want to keep this soap fairly flat because I am going to add some elements to the top. I'm going to add some piping right on top of the soap loaf and then add my embeds on top as well. So let's take a close up look at the top of this. You can just see some of those swirls of blue and that nice definition. I waited 24 hours and I did go ahead and unmold my loaves of soap. I'm going to create the frosting for the top. So once again I want this to be a nice deep black colour. So I've added about a teaspoon and a half of activated charcoal into this soap and I'm using my stick blender to make sure the colour is good and then bringing it to a thick, thick trace. This needs to be a pipeable consistency so once I've got it as thick as I can with my immersion blender I will set it off to the side and leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes very thick. That will give me a lot of nice definition in my piping. So you can see I have unmolded my soap and I did get some soda ash on the top. That's not going to be a problem, you won't really see it in the end result. I'm just piping three little dollops of soap onto each bar and I'm going to do that on both loaves and this is a nice textured piping tip that I have I'm going to add two more little dollops on top of those and then one more on top And now it's time to add those embeds right on top. My embeds are a little bit smaller than an inch each, so I am placing those roughly an inch apart so that hopefully I don't cut them when I cut into my loaf of soap. When I created these, I did try to use some earthy colors, so the whites, greens, and browns. I'm gonna finish off this loaf with some Epsom salt. And that is as close to glitter as we get using natural ingredients. It's just going to give a little shimmer and look a lot like the stars surrounding the planets in the night sky. So I'm sprinkling that right on top 
and it's going to stick to my wet soap. And here is a close up look of the frosting with those Epsom salts sparkling there on top just looking like those stars. Alright, 24 hours later and it is time to cut this loaf of soap. So I am lining it up on my multi-bar cutter and getting those planets as close between without cutting them as I can. So let's take a look at the inside of this loaf and see what those planets look like. Now each soap is going to be a little bit different and have different planets in it and they're all going to be varying sizes. I really love the way that the swirls turned out in these little planets and you can see that my background soap did get some air bubbles in which look just like stars in the background. So I'm really thrilled with the way this soap came out. Those planets just really stand out against the black and the swirls look so great they look just like planets rather than just having the plain colors and those little star air bubbles look so cute so we're going to finish up by having a look at the final photographs of this soap you can kind of see some lighter and darker elements and that's the dark blue that i added and the distinction in those planets and the swirls are so cute and the little epsom salts on top Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.